One, if you hear this, you are cursed. Two, if you've never heard this, you can be uncursed. Three, while you are cursed, you prefer the former. Four, if you hear this and have been cursed twice, you are no longer cursed. Now, the goal of this is to leave uncursed. You will be given the opportunity to go back in time and restart this video. And in doing so, you may remove one word from one line. It cannot be a noun, pronoun, or verb. Lines that still make sense, even if they aren't grammatically correct, still apply. You need to watch over the video again in the correct order at least once to complete the time cycle with your one removed word. Then you can skip to different lines as many times as you wish. This is a very simple logic puzzle. In three seconds, I will reveal the intended way to complete it. Go back now and stop the curse yourself. There are probably multiple answers. Three, two, one. In the intended solution, you remove never from line two. So when you read it over, it now says, if you've heard this, you can be uncursed. A first step towards the hope of leaving uncursed. But beyond hope, what does this actually do? Since the former is preferred while you are cursed, and since you will be cursed by now, you can uncurse yourself with line four, because line two no longer prevents you from being cursed. The order you will need to hear the lines in is one, two, three, four, one, four. You have now been uncursed. Godspeed.